What's going on, guys? This is Captain Jack, and I'm back with episode three of my Let's Play series. Um, I've done a bunch of work, and you'll notice we're back in Sfax here. Um, if this seems laggy, I'm very sorry, or if it seems like that I have low P FPS, I'm sorry. Um, it just looks so much better in, uh, in Sfax. So anyways, I have a little to-do board here just to keep me on track for the next 30 minutes or so. Um, we're going to build a hammer, um, hire some carriers, set up a tree farm, build a generator, fix the ugly house with carpenter blocks, and uh, set up a pulverizer and redstone furnace. Now that's, uh, that's pretty ambitious for one episode, um, considering that I have to make all this stuff. But uh, luckily I have done a bunch of mining off um, camera, and you can see I've encountered many different creatures in the wild there. And I've also done a little bit of renovating to the property. I got my little board here. I went and found some uh, different color trees so that I could have some different um, building blocks to work with. Got some spruce over there, some willow here. I built a little dock, and uh, I upgraded my fishermen to adept fishermen. And they are farming fish, right? Now. Ooh, they're farming a ton of fish. Um, I'll leave those where they are because we're going to set up the couriers, hopefully, and get them going. Um, I've made a town hall, and one of... Uh, the people in the last video commented that I should put the town hall in the middle of this thing. But at night, they all come rushing back into um, shelter, and it became really crowded in there. So I had to make a little town hall. And it's basically just a big empty room um, with the town hall, which I also upgraded in here. It's got a whole bunch of food. They've been using it pretty quickly. And uh, we're going to have to automate that too. So that's what this little building here is. Um, I've built a wheat farm, a, um, a reed farm that's called. A carrot farm. I found one carrot down in the dungeon, and uh, they've been able to replant most of these, so I'm getting an abundance of carrots. So that is very good, and I've uh, bred a little bit more of my sheep and cows, and I also found a couple of these down in the dungeons. Uh, there's a dungeon over there. I'm pretty sure I cleared the entire thing out, so there's not much to be had down there. Okay, let's go ahead and make this hammer because uh, I've had a tough time mining with basically just my my hands the entire time and I waited to make the hammer just so I could show you guys um, the process and what you have to do to make the hammer I did make the tool forge um, and what we're gonna need is let's see we're gonna need to make some if I can grab where did my, oh this stuff keeps going in this backpack that I made um, we're gonna have to make the um, patterns needed to build my hammer so we do need the hammer head so that's there it's gonna give me a stone hammer head um, I believe we need two large plates and I'm not gonna get very fancy with this hammer right now because hopefully it won't last me for too long and I believe we need a, a tough tool rod okay and I'm gonna put those back in there I'm gonna open up my tool forge and the reason I need my tool forge is because there's certain um, tools that you can't make in the regular um, tool table like the excavator the hammer the lumber axe and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna go ahead and click the hammer here. I'm gonna put that there, that there, stone hammer head here, and it's gonna build my hammer. And I'm just gonna put uh, captain's hammer. We're gonna name it, we're gonna take that. Uh, Pro Tinkerer, awesome. Um, what I'm also gonna do is I am going to throw a diamond on it. I never feel like diamonds are a waste, even on low level hammers, just because it adds a ton of durability and it will increase the mining level um, up to obsidian. Um, so that way, since I don't have a minium stone yet, I can go ahead and make some, um, or har harvest some obsidian so I can make my nether portal, which will probably be in the next episode, and we'll go ahead and do that. Um, so I got my hammer, and uh, basically what the hammer does is it mines in a 3x3 three three radius. Let me go ahead and get back into bat form here. And I'll just go down right here just to show you guys uh, what it does. If you're not familiar with the hammer, let me just, I'm going to change again. All right, there we go. This is going to drastically speed up um, the materials that I can mine right before I get my quarry. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Okay, so uh, that is pretty cool. The hammer is pretty fast, and uh, it's got stone bound. So the the more that I dig, the faster that it will go. There, the the more durability that's taken away from it, I believe, the faster it goes. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Got my basement down here, which I didn't show in the last episode, but it was built then. And we're going to go ahead and put some of our machines down there. So there we are. We checked off one off of our list. Awesome. In the bag. Okay. Um, next, let's hire some couriers to do some work for us. And while that's happening, oh, got some lead. I think I'll need lead. 
little bit later on. Put that in there. Let me grab some charcoal to burn these in the fires of Mordor here. Do -do -do. Switch those up. And some bricks. We'll definitely need some bricks. Where's my crafting table? Um, for that furnace that I'll be making. So I'm going to take those and put them in here. Very good. All right. Um, let's go ahead and come in here. I've done a little bit more research, too. Um, actually, I'm going to stay in bat form, even though it looks a little bit ridiculous. And uh, I'm going to need to make... I made some adept couriers. Um, I made an oak tree farm, two adept couriers. And uh, now I just need some routing slips. So uh, let's go ahead and make some of those. Oh, I also made three research books, so I didn't have to keep moving the book from place to place. That seemed to save me a bunch of time. Um, let me see if I can find... Um, where is it? Oh, here we go. Intermediate routing slip. Let's make one of those. Um, some rations, paper, and a travel backpack. Do I have any travel backpacks? No. I believe I'll need some wood and some wool to make travel backpacks. Where is my wool? Here it is. Let's go ahead and grab a little bit more wool. And we'll run over here and make a couple backpacks. Wait a minute. Seriously? No, that's for a courier. I was like, yeah, I was like, what's going on here? Yeah, I just need to take my book and put it back. I was like, I thought I took care of all that. Let's do that. Okay. So that changes the story just a little bit. Um, we need some paper and some wood, some iron, lapis, which I have, and I got some red dye ahead of time because I knew that I would need it. And let's go ahead and grab some lapis. It's going to be nighttime here in a minute. So I should probably sleep. Actually, while I'm here, I will do that. The sun is setting in the west. And it's time for me to go to bed. It is almost nighttime. Come on, come on, come on. The sun's setting. Let's go, let's go. I found that um, my people kept dying out there. And I had to sleep through the night all the time. Oh, and I dropped this. Uh, I did spawn in this chunk loader just because I wanted things to run while I was not away since nobody else is playing on this server. Um, and I wanted them to be able to farm and stuff. So that's why you see that chunk loader there. All right, it's daytime. Let's go back to the ancient warfare hut and see what we can do about this routing slip. Let's put some lap. Oh, are you kidding me? I didn't grab iron. All right, I don't really have too much resources, and I can't find like any gold down there. I have four stinking gold. That is a problem. Hopefully, the hammer will help me with that. Um, we'll do all my mining between episodes. Okay, let's make a routing slip. Eight seconds. And we have two couriers. I think I'm going to make two routing slips. If I can, there's one. And it's going to make one more for me. Just so it doesn't make another one. Don't want to be wasting no iron. All right. Very good. I'll put this in here. All right. Um, couriers. What these guys do is they transport stuff from place to place. And what I want to do is I want to automate um, all these farms. I decked them all out in mud armor. That's what I'm wearing too. I'm wearing mud armor. I want to um, have them grab all the stuff that they're producing from these farms and then bring them back to the shop so I don't have to worry about it, especially the food. And we're going to do something a little bit special with um, the fish because I want to have it automatically cooked to fish. Because right now I basically have to go in there just like you saw me do already and uh, cook all the fish and then throw it in the food processor and uh, then I can feed my people but I want to have them operate while I'm not around and not playing on the server so I'm gonna take this intermediate routing slip and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my ink farm and I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna say pick up um, let's see any of and let's grab some of these any of and I'm single clicking let me delete that delete any ink sacks. Okay, so it's going to pick up any ink sacks at that station. I'm going to go to my next spot over here. I'm going to say pick up any fish. Let me go ahead and grab some fish out of there. 
pick up any fish out of that slot. We're going to leave that fishery alone for right now. Um, the better the routing slip, the more um, stops that you can add on the route. Okay, I'm going to click the wheat farm. Oh, I keep doing this. should pick up stuff before. Let's grab this and this while I'm here. Okay, we're going to pick up any wheat at the wheat farm. And we'll just put it over here just for the sake of any of this. We're going to add this onto the routing stop. We're going to pick up any of uh, sugar canes. And then we're going to pick up any carrots. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Farmer. And here we go. Any carrots. Okay, very good. And then we're going to have them be deposited inside of this chest right here and we'll add that. I'll scroll down a little bit. We'll deposit any wheat, fish, reeds, ink, or carrots. All right, very good. I think this is, should be all set. We have our route. Now we need a courier. Let's go ahead and place the courier down inside the town hall just like uh, that subscriber commented on. I'm going to shift click. Oh, good grief. There we go. Um, yeah, it's. Oh, come on. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Okay, follow me. Yeah, shift click. I'm going to give him. Um, the commands and let's see what this guy does hopefully he gets these let's see and then yep he should come over here and then you should and these will follow the route that i've given him so he's going to make a big circle he's not going to come over here and then go to the wheat farm there we go he picked up those and let's see him grab the other stuff I'm going to watch this one for when he comes over here. Oh, there we go. Take, took them all. I'm going to make a little bit of room in this chest because I have all this mud armor that uh, really probably shouldn't be in here. Organize it up a little bit. Here comes a courier. Here he comes. Here he comes. Let's go ahead and check this chest. Oh, bang. Awesome. You are the man. High five. Okay. I'm going to put the brakes on the courier situation for right now until I can automate my um, food processor. And next, we're going to go ahead and build a lumber farm. Okay. We're going to build a tree farm. And right now, or um, I've been using this method of chopping down trees, which is a little bit hacks, but basically Tree Capitator allows you to do this. Okay, which is absolutely amazing. Um, you can chop down huge bunches of trees as long as the tree trunks are connected together. I pretty, I'm pretty sure I mentioned that in an earlier episode. Um, just didn't show you it happening. So let's go ahead and grab all of this stuff here. So many saplings, so many saplings, so much wood at one time. All right, let's chop these down. Um, oh, I found some steel tools too inside inside the dungeon. Doo, doo. Just gonna make a little bit of room for this tree farm. Not I've never actually made a tree farm before, so I'm not sure how big they need to be or what happens or how many trees they can plant. I think they can plant more than one. So I want a decently big area. And it did cost me a, a flipping diamond pickaxe to make this, so that really sucked. And speaking of really sucks I do have a ton of stuff in my inventory, which I will now offload into there. Let's put those inside here, even though they probably don't belong there. And some more mud in there. All right. All right. Oh, we can also deck out the courier. In. Oh, let's deck out this farmer, actually. No, we're going to do the courier. Let's put some um, armor on him. Oh, missed them. Uh, follow me, sir. 
There we go. All right, mud armor really sucks, but uh, at least we'll protect the guy that's bringing all this stuff from place to place, right? And hopefully he doesn't die with the routing uh, slip on him. Okay, very good, very good, making progress. Let's go ahead and take care of this, because I don't want these to be sitting up here. There must be a tree. There it is. These big trees cause problems. Bigger is not always better, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Let's. Oh, good grief. There's so many. All right, so that's taken care of. All right, I don't want to have to ever farm my own wood again, so I'm going to make these guys do it. And let's see. Oak tree farm. I'll make this decently big here. All right, so I just had a huge problem with uh, an autonomous activator that I had hooked up to uh, a piece of um, cotton out there. Apparently, uh, when in, uh, an NPC from Ancient Warfare runs by them, it when it tries to click them, it will like crash your world. And Ingram had to go in and world edit that block out of there for me to actually even play this world again. So I almost lost this entire thing, which was pretty scary. Uh, but anyways, let's set up this tree farm here. Um, Sorry for the delay. Actually, there was no delay because I'm going to edit it right out. Okay, let's go here. Um, let's put the tree farm here. And there we go. Let's load this with saplings. Drop our lumberjack here. He should be pretty happy. Let's see how this goes. What's he doing? He's planting. Awesome. Very good. Okay, I'll have to hook up the choir or the courier the courier to uh, this network here but I don't think his um, slip here the the slip has enough oh let me get back out of here because I was having problems with with this farm and with everything else um, we're gonna have to hook up a route with the courier so that will come a little bit later let's grab some more fish here because uh, these guys have collected a bunch in the time that the world has been back up okay I actually listened to you guys and made this stupid grindstone as much as I hate it um, let's go ahead and cross some things off the board real quick here. We're getting a lot done in this episode, so we got higher couriers. We got a tree farm set up. Let's go ahead and build a generator if possible. Um, what we're going to need is, I believe, a block of iron, which I have already made. And of course, I'm never going to be able to find this stupid thing. I swear I made a block of iron. If not, let me grab the iron here. Do -do -do -do. Block of iron, come on. I swear I had... Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Here it is. I'm not delusional. Okay, a block of iron. Let's get a couple redstone, a furnace, and uh, more iron, maybe? Yes, that's going to make me a furnace generator. And this one will be fine for now. Um, the furnace generator will generate uh, power off of regular... Uh, fuel like charcoal so I'm gonna drop that down there and I'm gonna pick up a bunch of charcoal because I've already started making some of this from all of those trees that I've farmed this has an internal buffer of 500,000 RF so that's fantastic let's go ahead and make um, I'll get a little bit higher up here um, let's go ahead and make the furnaces I'm gonna have to sleep soon um, but up, up, uh, let's make the, actually, I'm going to need my short supply of gold here, which is going to be really unfortunate. Oh, I made an extra one. Whoops. No, I didn't. Um, let's put these here. Uh, I believe bronze. Um, oh, I need machine frames. Hold on. Hold on. Machine frames. I need four more iron. Please don't make me do this. It's going to make me do this. All right, let's take the, these out of here. Finish grinding this up. Let me go ahead and sleep. I'm going to just grind this up really quickly, and then I will be right back. All right, then we're almost done here. Let's see what we got. Uh, there's two, and I already ground up a bunch more. Here we go. Five. Um, we're going to make these machine frames, so we're going to put this, 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 and this and gold and glass I believe. I'm not sure if I have it in the right pattern. I do. Um, and we're going to need two more iron ingots. 
one and two. I can't wait till I don't have to do this anymore. Put those in there, grab another machine frame. Let's clear this recipe out. Let's put that in there. This up here, this, 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 and a piston. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what goes up there? What goes up there? Piece of redstone. There we go. Redstone furnace. And then we're going to go ahead and make a pulverizer, which I believe is that and that. So there we go. And I do need one more redstone furnace. I'm not sure if I can make it. Let's. Yikes. No more gold. Like I said, I'm having. A... Oh, here we go. I'm having a terrible time with with finding gold down there. Hopefully that hammer really speeds things up. So let's take this back out. Make another furnace. And the reason why I'm making another furnace is because I'm going to need to do my fish. Here we go. Machine frame, redstone furnace. Two furnaces, one pulverizer. That's going to be fine for now, I believe. And what we're going to do is we're going to now make some conduits. I think that's a little bit of... Um, let me see. I think it's lead and tin. Do I have any tin ingots? No, I definitely do not. Okay. Give me a second. Going to go ahead and grind up some tin. Be right back. All right. Done grinding here. I think, let's see. Got two more tin. Put a bunch in here already. We got six going. That should be fine. Um, let's go ahead and take this and this. And I'm going to make some item duct. And then I'm going to make um, some conduit here. Oh, boy. How do you make conduit? It's lead... Let's see. Really crappy conduit here. Lead and glass in the middle. So let's put the lead over here. Glass in the center. Got some leadstone conduit. Um, got these. Do -do -do -do. Got these. That will be for something different. And actually, let's see if I can make a leadstone energy cell. I might have to fill this. Um, actually, no, I'm just going to go ahead and do a real, real basic um, setup right now. And I'm going to put some conduit on here. And I will clean this up probably um, between episodes. So I'm going to go ahead and drop my pulverizer here, drop my furnace here. This is building up a whole ton of uh, redstone flux. We're going to fill these babies up. And uh, I have to set this to output orange. And then that will be just fine and dandy right now let me grab um, let me grab a hopper do I have a chest nope doesn't look like I have a chest I'm just gonna do this so I can dump a bunch in the hopper and then let this stuff go for now so I'm just gonna drop this here it'll output into there and I will be able to get a bunch of my ores let's say we'll do all my iron and whatever else I can, whatever else I can carry down here, and uh, we'll go ahead and throw this in the hopper. We'll make that accept with blue, and let's fill this with iron ore. Oh, this is so much better! All right, that's about all I can fit inside of there right now. But that's gonna ooh, ferris very good, and it's gonna throw it in there, and it should output right into that chest there. So this is just a little bit of a buffer so that I can have this thing automatically go by itself. I do have another one of those, so I'm going to go ahead and just take a whole bunch of this stuff. I think I still have too much. I'm um, going to drop hoppers on hoppers. Hoppers on hoppers. All right, let's jump these in here. Very good, very good. Okay, that'll smell all that crap, and it will throw it into that chest there. So that is done. Fantastic. But up ba bo um, we do need this furnace to come over here. And what I built... Ooh, one more thing I need to do. I planned this episode so well. Or at least I feel like I did anyways. Except for that stupid um, activator crash. Let me go ahead and grab some of these. Believe me, I do try hard to keep these action-packed full of relevant things and not me mining the entire time. Um, which is why I made my board... 
Let's drop that in there. Just need a wrench. Pretty sure this is the easiest wrench to make. I'm not going to bother making a Yetta wrench. You need like electrical steel, some crap. Okay, so what I need to do is I need to um, have a furnace go into a food processor. Um, so I'm going to put this here. I'll put a generator underneath it. I'll output to the top. Let me get rid of all these sides here. So I'll output to the top. It'll go directly into the food processor, which I've preloaded. Oh, they use food so quickly. Let me get some more going. And then I'll take some item ducts, and that's the reason why I made these. We'll put that in here. Oops. Whoa, what just happened? Um, and then that will automatically output in... <laughs> okay, hold on. Hold on a second here. Uh, that did not work. I think I just have to change the orientation of this machine. That's not a big deal. There we go. Let's grab this guy here. Put that like that. Let's dump these into here. We're going to need to give it a redstone signal, and the redstone signal will double um, as an activator for that right there. Uh, -bo -bo. Let's take this out of here. Um, what is wrong with this thing? Why is it not dumping? into here and why is it still taking these things mm, maybe it's got to come out of the bottom anyways I'll fix that in a minute I'll come back to it if we have time that's not really a huge um, huge deal but just so you guys know I do plan on automating this um, we might do that first thing next episode next let's see what else is on our board um, besides sleeping because that's definitely going to be on the thing I gotta build a generator pulverizer redstone furnace done and done let's go ahead and take a nap and finally start with carpenter blocks we'll spruce up this house just a little tight in bit and uh, we will close the episode so carpenter blocks these are pretty neat um, what we're going to do is we're going to make the basic carpenter block which is just a really simple pattern just like this okay and that'll be saved to our pattern up there we'll make a pattern like this um, that was a lie. How do I do this? How do I do this? I swear it was that. And I guess it's not. Do, do, do. Okay, let's just go ahead and look it up. Let's see. Carpenter blocks. Uh, the prism wedge slope. Carpenter's wedge slope. Oh, 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 oh. Look at me. Nubbing it up already. I was right. I just needed the right blocks. Um, oh, I can't believe I just did that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, so now that's made. Um, let's check out this one because this is my next favorite block here. Do, 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 do. Oblique exterior edge is not letting me make right now, but that's okay. Um, <clears throat> let's do that. I won't be able to actually make them because I don't have enough of these. Just some carpenter stairs, just in case of emergency. And then what we'll do is we'll switch back to this and we'll make a whole bunch of these guys here, just to make the outside of this house a little bit more appealing. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of those. Let's get some wood. Let's get the chisel back out because the chisel is amazing. We'll put this in here. Um, what kind of planks are we using? I believe these babies. Put these in here. Got plenty. Okay, and then we'll do... We'll spruce this house up a little bit. We'll end this episode. I think... I think... That's very optimistic. These are really easy to break, thankfully. Okay. We put... Good grief. That and that. Okay, there we go. Just give this thing a little bit more of a modern look. Cover up these angry holes. That's where I would put that other block. I'm going to figure out what's wrong with that pattern and why I have trouble making it. Okay, that there. Oh, we need a few more of these. All right, these are carpenter blocks. Pretty awesome blocks for sure, for sure except if you do that. 
Um, they just basically take on the texture of said block that I right click on it with. Okay. Oh, this is so obnoxious. I'm not going to do this anymore. Um, so I'll finish this up between episodes. And uh, we've gotten a lot accomplished. We've got a tree farm. we got a courier system going. Um, we got carpenter blocks going. We got a redstone furnace. We got ore doubling going. We built a hammer. So this just looks a little bit more nifty. Covers up the ugly glass. That's what I had planned for that from the beginning. Um, maybe I will just quickly take a look at this for you. Um, let me fix it. Um, find out what the problem is, and then I'll be right back. All right, so that was actually really easy. Um, I, I figured it was this much, or I figured as much that it was just the bottom was the uh, the output of this thing. So, um, so when I go ahead and throw a bunch of food in here, it's going to suck it out, and it's going to drop it right into um, my town hall. So that is, is the solution to that. What I'll do is, um, as soon as I have uh, some of this iron smelted, which will be right now, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and check this. Check this stuff out. Um, iron should be down here. Oh, yes. So much. So much iron. I'll be able to get so much more done now. Let's go ahead and make another block of iron. Let's go ahead and throw this into here. Let's try to make another generator. Don't have enough of... What do I not have enough of? I have a block of iron. I have two redstone. I have a furnace. Oh, iron. Err. Okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to take a bunch of charcoal. <laughs> nice. I lied when I said I was going to end this episode. Obviously, um, this is just a really temporary solution to this. I would not normally do this otherwise. Um, but I'm going to put this in here. Um, these generate 80 RF per tick, so that's going to load this baby right up. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my last courier slip, and I'm going to go ahead and place it on here. And I'm going to have him take... Um, fish and let me see I don't have any fish on me oh look at all these fish that he's got uh, I'm gonna have him take fish pick up any of and I'm gonna have him bring the fish to the town hall but I'm also gonna have him pick up my wood and I will also have to grab some oak wood like that click here let's get rid of that pick up any of oak wood and this courier will deposit the oak wood into hmm I'll have him put it into this chest for now but I'm gonna have to change that because this is gonna be overcrowded I take that back I'm gonna make a new chest really quick so he has his own dedicated wood chest and uh, We'll just put that right there for now. So we're going to click, we're going to deposit oak wood into here, any of, and then we're going to deposit um, fish into this furnace, redstone furnace. Deposit any of fish in there. We're going to find that courier wherever I put him. I think he's in here. Adept courier. Put him in the town hall. Follow me, please, so you don't run away. We're going to give you your special orders, and uh, we're going to let you go. And hopefully he should go out, he should grab those fish, and then he should grab the wood, and then he's going to come right back in here and uh, and deposit that wood. Okay, so this is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to eventually have him take it to barrels, I think, just to streamline this a little bit more because we're getting backed up on a bunch of stuff. So here's my courier. Should go right over there to the wood next, and that should be it. So basically, I just knocked off everything my, in my list in right about a half an hour. So that's pretty amazing. Um, thank you guys for watching um, the series so far. Again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I do read them. I don't respond to all of them just because it's way too hard. Um, make sure you check us out on uh, Facebook. Check us, check us out on our channel, basically, with all our other different tutorials. And this should be Cooking Fish... Um, actually, I need to set the input side um, to the front. Yes, that's going to be... Oh, 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 oh. Yep, that's going to be a little bit of a problem because I, I clicked on the, the wrong side and I have no input sides. 
here. Yeah, so he's going to have trouble putting his fish in there. But anyways, um, make sure you stay tuned for Episode 3, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Captain Jack signing out.